Selling pre-made VTuber models online is a great way to bring in income as both an artist and a rigger. They also act as an amazing portfolio builder, helping you get potential long-term clients. The first step is going to be making your VTuber model, of course. If you're an artist and you want to learn how to rig, I have three full series on making a VTuber, even if you're a beginner. Check out the playlist below to learn more about how to rig a model. After you have a model made, you can choose an online store to sell your work on. I'll be using Etsy in this video, but feel free to sell your model on multiple platforms for the best chance of building an audience and income for your work. A quick note to make is Etsy does charge 20 cents for listing an item, so having a bit of money to support your listing will be critical for starting your shop. Okay, so we're gonna make an account. You can go ahead and click sign in. So go ahead and click register. You can make an account with Google, Facebook, or Apple, it looks like, or you can just make one on its own. So let's just make one here. Okay, so you'll fill out your email, your name, and your password. And then I'll click register. Okay, I had to change my email because apparently I already have an account <laughs> with that email. We'll click register. So with a new account, click on your profile, go down to sell on Etsy, and then we'll click get started. Let's do this. And you can fill out why. And there's also all these different just things that can assist you. Etsy seems to have quite a lot of tools to be able to help you understand how to build your shop. And then we'll go start our shop. You can fill out your shop language, country, and the currency that you want, and then you can continue. And then you come up with a shop name. We're just gonna call this Test Shop Sapphire. You can't have special characters, spaces, or accented letters, it looks like. And you can just put a draft name in here, so if you wanna change it later, you can absolutely do that. So we'll click Save and Continue. And then it's gonna want you to put in your first item. So first, let's fill out the category. You can type in digital for a model that you're selling, and we'll do digital art and collectibles, drawing and illustration, digital so this one here and then we'll select digital files and then who made it of course I did what is it a finished product when was it made if you made it in the current year you'll select when that was and how's it created with AI or created by you mine's created by me and then if you had any production partners this is usually if so for example if I did the art for a sticker design, but I had a different company produce it and I didn't produce it from home. This is where I might add a production partner. Or same thing for like a keychain. If I had another company produce the physical keychain, but I did the art, then we would add a production partner. So let's click save and continue. And then we want to come up with a title. So whenever you're selling something, I recommend going to look at what people have already put in their title or what seems to be working. You can see which models are performing well by looking at, I believe this is the review number. So the higher it is, the more likely that that model has been performing well. And what I'd recommend is possibly looking at like, what did they name this model? So ready to use VTuber custom demon pre-made pre-setup model, ready for streaming, VTube, Studio Twitch. So it's a lot of like key words that people might be looking up if they're trying to find a model. Right, so I think this is pretty interesting to look at. You can do some research and gather some different ideas for your title. That being said, for mine, I already had this title ready. I'm naming mine Cute Cat Girl, PNG Tuber Hybrid, Live 2D Cubism. Three expressions, if you have any expressions, you could add that in the title. You can add it in the description as well. Cat Girl, because people might be specifically looking for cat girls for Twitch, streaming, pink and purple anime cat girl. 2D VTuber. And you have a max of 140 characters, so use them wisely. And then you'll add photos in a video. Etsy does recommend that you definitely add a video because they've noticed that videos lead to more sales. I will definitely have a picture, so here's the picture that I'll be using. I just put this together simply using Photoshop. You can use a free program that's a lot like Photoshop, like Photopea or Canva. This video is not sponsored by them, but you can definitely check those out as some resources. And I'll leave those links in the description. But I just featured all my different expressions here my avatar and kind of stuck to a color theme and I got this background for free as a stock image and of course if you're using any extra imagery like this make sure that you're able to use it commercially or have it on a page which you can check in the TOS and again if you don't have a ton of ideas you can go and look at the search results to see what people have done to theme and make their characters look nice like here's a version that for the model that shows a close-up the full body and then the emotes on the left side and you can see when I hover how video plays so that's why it's important in videos because then people can actually see more information and see if they want to click on it or not, right? So I think that is super helpful and I definitely recommend 
putting together a video of some kind. And here's my video that I made here. I made this using Premiere Pro. You can use DaVinci Resolve, but DaVinci Resolve is a free video program that you can use that I've heard a lot of people recommend in the VTubing community. And I just had some pop-ups here giving extra info like PNG Tuber, Live 2D Model Hybrid, talking with the model, angry, what the angry expression looks like, sad looks like, and then the sparkle eyes. Okay, so we have all these different versions of what the model looks like. We show that off. And I thought having an animated background was kind of eye-catching and a bit of a scroll stopper. So that's why I chose one of the animated backgrounds that's already in Live 2D. And this was pretty easy to make. It was uh, just me recording what my model was doing and then having these little pop-ups. And you can record using OBS. And I'll also leave some resources below on how to record with OBS if you haven't done so before. All right, so back to creating our listing. So what we'll do then is we would add the photo here and then we would add our video as well. So we can go ahead and click that. And then this is our primary photo. I'm just gonna choose one of my other pieces of art randomly here so I can show you what it looks like if you were gonna switch. We can edit the photo as well. So if I click that little pen icon, Etsy does have an in program editor, but you can usually do this just in your editing program. But maybe you wanna use this if you were doing selling like stickers or something like a real life thing and you wanted to edit it, edit the photography super quick, but not pull it into like a whole long program. You could use it in that case. I'm just gonna click discard. So if you want something to be your primary photo, you can just switch it over to the first one here. So you just drag and drop, right? And you can also click on the photo to open it and give it alt text. So this is the kind of thing that helps with people understanding what the image is, especially with someone with disabilities that may be deaf, having extra image details can really help them as well. Especially if you made a video that actually features you speaking more than it did having like pop-ups telling you what it was. Anyways, I'm just gonna throw that out. We can trash that, so that's how you trash an item. Okay, next you can adjust the thumbnail. So you can zoom in, you can move this around whatever thumbnail size you want. And a quick note I wanted to throw in is for the thumbnail size, 570 by 465 pixels for the thumbnails. So that's what I recommend you make the canvas size when you're making that picture. So you're gonna have to create a digital file that you're gonna be able to upload that the user can download. So what you can do is go to your desktop, right click, click new folder, and we'll just call this Mimi Cat Girl VTuber. You can name it whatever you're gonna wanna be naming it. Okay, so we'll just pop over to Live 2D. In my case, I was using Live 2D for my model. You may have to save out a separate file depending on the type of PNG tuber, VTuber you're selling. If it's a Live 2D model, it's gonna be different. If it's a PNG YouTuber, depending on the program that you're using, it will be different. So I'm doing this one for Live 2D Cubism. So we can go to File, Export for Runtime, Export as MO3, Export as MOC3 file. Then you can let that export. And we'll do for Cubism SDK 5.0 or whatever the most up-to-date version is, depending on what you're using. Click OK. Then we'll go to our desktop, click on the folder we just created, and click Save. Etsy does have a limitation for the size of files that you can add, as well as how many files you can add only up to five and I believe it's 20 megabytes is the limitation. So that being said, how are we gonna upload something that is a way bigger file? So what you can do is you can use something like Google Drive. You can use something like Google Drive to upload a zipped folder, which I'll be showing you how to do. And for the actual file that the person receives, you can give them a note file. You'll give them a file that they can read and you can drop links to the Google Drive in there and even give instructions on setup. Now, maybe there's a better way out there. That's the one I found. So if anybody thinks of something better, feel free to let me know in the comments. Okay, so now we have these files done. So I'm just gonna create a new folder. We're in the Mimi Cat Girl folder that we made. New folder and we'll call this drop this into VTube Studio. Drop this into VTube Studio, and then what we can do is drag everything in there. So this is kind of a clear direction for them to be able to follow. Okay, so I just cut to my finished version here. So something else I dropped in is just the art itself, because if somebody wanted to make promo art or something with it, I have a high quality piece in there. So you can also drop that in the folder. I also dropped some of the PSD, so the files that are supporting this model, if they want to make any edits, of course. And then I have the readme in here, which is the important piece that you'll want. So you can right click, click new, and select text document. So make a text document. So I said, hello, thanks for purchasing my model Mimi. You'll need to do a few things to set her up in VTube Studio, download the package with everything in it here, and then you can have your link dropped in there. Drop the drop this folder into VTube Studio. If you don't know how to import files in VTube Studio, you can watch this tutorial here. So I do recommend creating a video so they know how to actually use your character, use your model. And then three, for model setup, you can refer to this YouTube video starting at the timestamp I put and forward for setup. And that'll be the file that we actually upload. So now if we hop back over to, to Etsy, we can add a file 
and select the readme text and drop that in there. Perfect. Next will be description. I recommend adding in words that will help people find your model when using the Etsy search bar. I also recommend writing up a terms of service for them to follow. This is really important when you're an artist so people aren't using your work incorrectly. Examples of pieces for terms of service are things like, yes, they can use this character on merch that they plan to sell at events in the future, or no, they can only use this model for streaming. So being specific about the use case of the model. You may want to put something in there as well about not distorting or editing or misrepresenting the work. You can even add the instructions in the listing here as well. You can also put in the description, open for changing the hair color or doing basic color changes if that's something that you're able to do within a reasonable means. So if you don't want to come back and edit it or anything like that, I would recommend not doing that and just selling it as is. This can be helpful for some people though, depending on what they're selling. So here's a quick example of a description you can get as detailed or simple as you want, depending on how you're advertising your model. So I just said this is a hybrid PNG tuber model with a traditional live 2D cubism rigged model. She is a cute pink and purple cat girl named Mimi and ready to be used for stream with a few simple setup steps I provide for you. So here's some of my TOS and we can even put like TOS at the top. Please do not edit this art. You're welcome to use her for prints, merch, etc. Do not send the digital file out to others. This can get really long and extensive. I recommend looking at some other people's work and examples that they show for what kind of TOS they have as this is really going to be unique to you particularly and what you want someone to do with your art. And then I put instructions will be included in the download, but I'm more than able to rewrite those again if I wanted to. And if you wanted to add personalization like the additional colors I mentioned, you can click add personalization. You can click add personalization right here. And then you can include instructions and make a personalized option for the buyer, different things like that. You're going to fill out your price. I would say look at other work that is similar to yours so that you can compete with other people on the platform because you don't want to make it so expensive that it's way above the others and people will never buy your work, but you don't want to make it too cheap and do a disservice to the hard work you put in either. I've seen anywhere from two to $60 for these bottles on Etsy when it comes specifically to a pre-made model. And they can even reach over the $100 range depending on the customizability and the amount of work you put in. But for those who get custom models or if you're selling a custom model option on Etsy, I've seen anywhere from $500 to $10,000 depending on the skill set and the level of expertise, the rigor, the artist, how in demand they are. There's lots of different things that can affect it. If y'all are interested in a video breaking down how to price out your commissions, feel free to leave a comment below. But I do definitely recommend staying below $100 to compete with others on this specific platform. And you can also bump the price if your model has a lot of customizable options. So for this model, I'm just gonna put $5 for example, and here's the estimated profit it'll show you, and this is the fees you'll be paying. The nice thing with the digital product is you don't have to pay for stamps or mail or paper or anything to send it out. You will still have to pay that digital fee, but it's really nice because there's really not much you have to do after you sell the product. It's a make once, earn forever concept. And since this is a digital piece, the quantity doesn't really matter because it's not like you have a certain amount of stock unless you wanted to make it an exclusive model and only sell a hundred of them until they're gone or something like that. I would say to bump this number up, I usually do around 99 to kind of keep track of the amount that I'm selling. And keep in mind that you will pay the 20 cents listing fee when you create a new listing or renew an expired listing. So it's possible that it can get expired. If the listing hasn't been sold at all, it will expire after four months and then you'll need to pay this fee again. For the SKU, it can be really anything to help you keep track of the product. I just put Mimi for her name and then we can go to attributes. This is where you're going to select the main colors. For her, she is mainly pink and then the secondary color is purple. So you'll fill this out accordingly to your character or what you're selling. So here is a conversion table for the pixels. You can also go to this website that I have plugged in and I'll leave a link to this down below. So I'm just plugging in the amount of pixels. If you go to your art pro program, you can go to image, canvas size, and of course it'll be different depending on your program and it's going to be 7037. So 73 inches and that's going to be width. So we'll go back and we'll do 73 width by, I'm just going to go ahead and copy that number so I don't have to type it in again and place that, paste that. So 85, we'll just do 85. And orientation is vertical, up and down. And now this is a pretty important part here for the attributes. You really want to type in as many tags as you can to help people find it. So I can do like streaming, VTuber, VTuber model, pre-made VTuber. So here's some of my tags here. You can pause the video if you'd like to take a deeper look. And for materials, we're going to use Photoshop. We used Photoshop 
and we use Live 2D Cubism and VTube Studio. So these are just the different programs I use basically to make the item or what helps the item function. And here are the core details. So we already selected the digital files for category. We selected digital, great. We can keep scrolling. Let's see if there's anything else. For the returns and exchanges, digital items aren't eligible for returns from Etsy because of the nature of the items. So you don't have to worry about that there. And then for the shop section, you can add a section. So I'm just gonna create a section called VTuber Models. So if you have a ton, people can go through these different sections. Maybe you have like animal-based VTubers and then you have elf-based VTubers or something like that to categorize them if people are looking for a specific vibe. And then you can do feature the listing, which will basically just put the listing at the top of your page. So that's good to do if it's something new. And for renewal, if you want it to automatically take the 20 cents out of your account, as I mentioned earlier, you can just do automatic. Or if you want to control that yourself, you can select manual. And I just had to make a fix before I could save and continue. I forgot to select inches for the width and the height. Okay, so then we can click save and continue after filling all that out. Okay, and then it'll show you here. Great job on your first listing. And then next will be how you get paid. So this is where you're gonna fill out your information for how you want to get paid. You'll choose where your bank account is located. If you have an LLC, like a business that you created, you can select incorporated business. If you're an individual, you can select this. So that just depends. A lot of people ask if they should create an LLC. And I always like to say yes, if you are wanting to sell long term, it's not absolutely necessary, but it can help you out and protect you in a lot of ways. But I am not a lawyer, full disclaimer, so I don't want to give too much advice there. And then you can just tell a bit more about yourself. You'll fill out all this info. And of course, you will need to give your social security number because for taxes, you're going to need that. And Etsy is going to be liable to report your taxes to the government. All right. And once you continue to fill the rest of that out, I'll let you walk through that because it's kind of self-explanatory walk through filling out your banking information, different stuff like that. You can click the Etsy logo to go back to the homepage and then you can go to your shop manager and this is where you can see everything that you have. If you go to listings, you can see what's up, what's running, and I can click on the cat girl here if you want to go back and edit anything. And if you want to view it on Etsy, you can click view on Etsy, which will show it here and show how everything looks. So you can view your video, see different pieces like that, see how it's looking. And if you don't like it, you can make edits. Now you're one step closer to making money as a VTuber artist and getting paid for your work, which is awesome. Now, if you wanna get better at planning all of these upcoming projects to increase your income, consider checking out this video next where I walk you through my project planning process that helps me manage and keep track of my many goals and projects.